I'm going to tell you what's new in CorelDRAW 2021 and we start right now. So a few months ago, CorelDRAW launched a new version which is CorelDRAW 2021. Although I've not tried the version since then, but recently I had to get hold of CorelDRAW 2021 and see how it looks like and how the workflow looks like. And when I found this CorelDRAW, it was so amazing because it actually has almost all the features I've always wished CorelDRAW to have. And I only see these features in Adobe Illustrator, but when I saw these features in CorelDRAW 2021, I was so amazed and happy because CorelDRAW have brought my dream to pass. So I'm going to share with you those features I found in CorelDRAW 2021. Let's jump right in. The first feature I discovered in CorelDRAW 2021 is the advanced illustration feature which enables you to draw in perspective. Let's take a look how it looks like. You simply go to object and you go to perspective and you see draw in perspective. So you click on draw in perspective and you can click and drag to create this perspective effect. But let's do that again. Let me delete this or finish and delete off. Then you go to object, you go to perspective and draw in perspective. Then if you need to draw in two points, you click here and change to two points because we want to draw a two point perspective. Then you click and drag and you get this two point perspective like this. And next thing you want to do is to select which point you want to draw from. So I click on left and when you click on left, you click on your rectangle tool and you'll be able to draw this shape like this. You can see what it looks like. And you click on right and do the same again to draw from right. And you have this shape like this. And the next place you want to click is the top and you click and click and drag. Sorry, you click and drag and you get this. So this is what CorelDRAW 2021 has. You are able to draw in 3D like this with the two point uh, perspective if, uh, two. Then you can change the colors to whatever color you want. And let's see how it looks. You click here and click this and press control and add colors like this so you have these three points just as you can see here. and okay let me do like this and and this is cool let me take off the outline and let's see what it looks like you right click here to take off the outline and it's actually a box it looks like a box that has opening and you can also place objects on this perspective on this box and it looks like a mock-up. So CorelDRAW 2021 has lots of features for us to enjoy. If you're a CorelDRAW user and you're not using CorelDRAW 2021, then you're actually missing out. Okay, let's see what we can do with this perspective effect. I want to place these logos, this logo on the perspective and let's see how it looks like. And you click, right click and click on move to plan. And before then, I think I'm going to duplicate this before then into three places. So I won't stress duplicating it again. You click on the first one, you right click and click on move to plane and click on uh, left, move to left plane. Then you bring it to where you have your left plane, just like this. Okay, move it here. Then you can enlarge and it fits into that plane exactly and the next thing you want to do is to click on the second right click and click on move to plane move to right plane and you hold and drag to where you have the right plane then you can enlarge it a little like this and this looks very fine and perfect and you can centralize it like this click and right click and drag sorry right click and move to plane and click on move to top plane then you move it to where you have the top plane like this and you enlarge so this is how it looks like then after all you can click on finish but before then you have to when you start using this perspective uh, feature you have to study what all these features has what all these icons what it means so you know how to work with them because you won't just start working with them without knowing what other features here 
uh, for now these lines are out of this blue color where you have the horizontal line you can change the colors here you can see how the colors have been able to change so you have to study those to study those uh, icons and know what all of them means but this is basically what Corel Draw 2021 has that is the perspective effect then you click on finish and once you do that you are able to create this 3d uh, box like this so this is what Corel Draw 2021 has with this perspective feature you can create 3d designs you can use it to create uh, um, outdoor designs like what people do to create building uh, uh, building projects front view side view and on all other stuff so perspective feature in Corel Draw 2021 is amazing next feature i found in Corel Draw 2021 is the page docker and you click on windows and you click on dockers and you select pages and it's able to highlight all the pages you'll be working with on your page docker and this page docker you can hold here and drag to increase the thumbnail and you can also reduce this and you can select any page to hover around any page you want to move to with your page docker it makes your workflow very easy so page docker helps you move to any other page you want very easily and you edit any page as you want very easily and another amazing feature i found out in corel 2021 is the multi-page view which you are able to display your pages multi-page like this like you can display all the pages and see all the pages at once it's very very nice and you can view it on the page docker or you simply come to view you come to multi-page view and select it here that if your page docker is not activated but with your page docker you can also select either a single page view or a multi-page view and you can arrange your pages in this way either you make it um, this grid form or you make it vertical like this where you have the vertical arrangement or you make it uh, horizontal just like this or you can also make it custom that you can move your pages to any way you want to okay you can move your pages like this move your pages to any place you want to place them and it's very nice okay so this is how Corel Draw 2021 has brought new looks and new experience to graphic designers who use Corel Draw. So, and I like to use the grid layout. Um, like I enjoy using the grid layout for my few days of using Corel Draw 2021. I've used the grid layout, especially when I'm working with my layout designs like books or I work with brokers that has many pages. I display my pages like this initially in the other versions of Corel draw i've used i've not experienced this in fact it's always like stressful to me moving from page one to maybe page 85 and it's always very it's always very stressful but with this new feature in Corel draw you can set your multi-page view and move to any page you want and move object to any page like i can move this object to this page and move this to this other page and i can edit anything i want to do move this to this page and any page you want at once and it makes your workflow very easy and another feature i discovered is the export docker and multi-asset export this will interest you if you are a corel Draw user that works with multi pages you work with many pages or jobs that has many pages and you spend your time exporting from page one like me i really work on brokers that has up to 100 pages and above and when this happens i tend to export my jobs one after the other if my clients want to have the job in jpeg format but most times i i use my uh, i publish the job to pdf to save my time but you know publishing a job to pdf is another way of converting the job to another uh, uh, illustration or vector form but with this new feature in Corel Draw, you can export all your pages at once let me show you you simply click on i think i'll close this you click on file you go to export for and you see multi files so you select multi files and once you do that you select your first page and you click on add 
once you do that you are able to add the face page okay I, I think i will delete this off and do this again now that is page one you click on add page and you have page one here you click on page two and you click here add new and you have your page two you click on page three and you click on here to add the page three now you can still select all the pages at once and add but i have to do this one after the other so you can understand that very well and you add this again you click on page six and add now with this feature you can change how you want each page to be exported the format you want to export each page like you can set your page one to jpeg and if you need your page two in png you can set it to png if you need your page three in pdf you set your page three well sorry page yeah page three to pdf or you can set your page four to give but i prefer you leave it at jpeg since it's not a, a gif you know gif format is for uh, animation and that is all jpeg and all then you simply click on export all now another thing you need to know is you can change the suffix of each page like if you want it to be like page 1a page 2b page 3c let's see how it looks a b c d e and f okay that is fine and you can delete any page you don't want to export with this tool or you set if you click on settings you'll be able to make some kind of settings like each okay let me start from page one to show you this so you understand very well now whenever you're exporting files you choose the format you want to export it with and you also choose the kind of um, color mode you want to export it with but when you click on settings you have this dialog box so you'll be able to set the color mode like um rgb cnyk or grayscale now i want my face page to be on grayscale okay and okay and i want my second page to be on okay my third page i be fourth page okay my fourth page to be on the um, uh, rgb and okay and i need the fifth page to be on cmyk color mode then you can also set other uh, stuff here like the high quality low quality and so on i leave it at custom and you also set um the standard format and every other stuff you set whenever you're exporting your document you click on okay the next thing you want to do is to click on export all and once you do this all your files will be exported you need to select the folder you want to export to so i'm going to create a new folder on my export uh, document and uh, let me see uh, i'll name this folder design tuesday and click on select folder and once you do that you can open the folder and select folder and that is all let's wait and see how the files are being exported so the files are done exporting then you go to the folder where you exported the files you can see all these files come in the way and the manner we arrange them like the page one was changed to grayscale and you can see the page one comes with a grayscale format and the page two was png that is why it does not come with any background and the page three was with a uh, pdf and the page four was jpeg and all other files come in their format and this features in color draw is so amazing okay and let me show you the next feature i was able to discover in coral draw 2021 and this feature is the auto fit page feature let's see how it works and how it looks like you close this and i'll work with a single page view let me go to my uh, single page view okay sorry view okay fine now what the auto fit does or auto fit page does is this you click on this icon here where you have the auto fit page and your page will automatically fit into the object that is on the page okay now let me show you another stuff here now this design is a custom design it does not have any a, a, a specific shape and this page is a4 but you want your page to fit with the object inside the page you simply click outside here and you click on this auto fit page and you click on auto fit and that is very well done okay that is very well done and it's it's amazing 
Okay, so this feature helps you to boost your workflow and make work so easy for you in CorelDRAW 2021. And the next feature I discovered in CorelDRAW 2021 is the import or export font collection. And this feature allows you to group your font to your favorite font and to group your font according to how you want your font to be grouped. Let's see how this looks like. And for you to do this, you have to activate your Corel Font Manager. So when installing your Corel Draw, ensure that you install all the extensions and you install all the software that comes with this package. Okay. Now, let's see how this works. You click on your uh, font list. And when you do that, you click on show filter list. And when you do that, you see the filter list that has every group of fonts you like. Now, I tend to group my font. Now, I want to group my font to my favorite font, the font I like using most. I'll group them to my favorite font. Then you click on favorite. And currently, the only font I have in my favorite font is this Bebas Nguyen. And I want to add a new font to my favorite font. So all you need is to open up your Corel font manager and when you open up your Corel font manager this is what you see you can launch your Corel font manager when you click on launch and you have these applications that follow your Corel draw when you click on launch and you see that and if you don't have that you can go to your start menu and search for your Corel font manager here you can you can see it here you open it up and when you open it up you have this workspace you simply search for the particular font you want to add to your favorite font and I want to add um, Lost in Well. Okay, this is the font here. So you right click on the font and when you do that, you see Add to Collection, you click on Favorite. And when you do that, automatically this font goes into your favorite font. So let's go back to Corel Draw and see what it is. You open up your font list and when you do that, you click on Favorite. You can see lost in world has been added to my favorite font so this feature is very nice so there are other features in corel draw 2021 i have not yet explored and i'm still testing corel draw 2021 to see how it works though i found some bug in this particular version maybe subsequent versions in this uh Maybe subsequent versions in CorelDRAW 2021 will be better. And one of the bugs I found in CorelDRAW 2021, which I wouldn't like to tell, but I have to tell you, so you won't be surprised when you install your CorelDRAW 2021. And in other versions of CorelDRAW, when you double click on your rectangle tool, you are able to create an automated shape on your page, a shape that fits your page. But in CorelDRAW 2021, I tried doing that and it wasn't working and i'm trying and trying to see how to fix that but it's not actually working so all you have to do is to create a shape like this and when you do that you can change your unit to inches you click on your page and you know the length and breadth of your page which is 8.26 and 11.693 so you click on your shape and click here and make the 8.26 and you have 11.693 11.693 and you have that you press p on your keyboard to place it exactly on the page so this is how i've been working with corel draw 2021 because the original way of working with it isn't working for now maybe in subsequent versions it will be better and that is all I found in CorelDRAW 2021. So like I said, there are other features that are in CorelDRAW 2021 I'm yet to get used to read. Features like the color replacement in Corel Photo Paint, like you can change the color of any object and replace it with another color in Corel Photo Paint. It's very easy and nice to use. I'm trying to see how this feature works. So when I'm done, I'm going to tell you my other discovery in CorelDRAW 2021 and also it has another feature that has to do with photo uh, enhancement or photo adjustment the tone and other stuff it has new features like that and it's very easy and nice to use if you have used CorelDRAW 2021 and you have features i have not mentioned in this video you can let me know down in the comments and i'll appreciate that i'm going to make a dedicated video on how to download and install CorelDRAW 2021 in your Windows. Thank you very much for watching this video. 
I'll see you in the next video.